Although the ancient Greeks and Romans knew about the value of cork bark, it only began to be harvested commercially in Portugal about 300 years ago. It's still done by teams of men using hand axes, and no viable mechanical method has yet been invented to do the job as effectively. The important thing is to know the amount of force that you have to input this so that it doesn't damage the, the living part of the bar. These axes are manufactured locally in several towns where they make it. And you have uh, some bigger ones and some smaller ones. It's a very nice thing and special for, for pots. The stripping is only done in midsummer when the bark comes away from the living tissue, the cambium, more easily. The smell of uh, just peeled cork oak and the color of it, it's fantastic. The skills needed for harvesting cork are often handed down from father to son. You have to be really skillful to, to go up in the trees and, and work with an axe in, uh, up in the air. Very important on this, it is, it is sustainable because uh, every nine years you peel it and you don't destroy the tree. The more you peel it, the better the cork is. What an extraordinary tree. Cork oaks are the only trees in the world from which you could strip an entire piece of bark like this without killing it. Every tree this size yields sufficient bark to produce 4,000 corks, and this harvest provides employment for at least 60,000 Portuguese workers. Each tree is daubed with a number to record the year of the harvest. This will remain visible as the bark thickens from the inside, reminding owners that these trees can next be harvested in 2016.